Hi, my name is Hugh McIntyre and I'm the leader of Integrated Studies in Stage 4 for 2022. In my role, I'm responsible for the overseeing of our Integrated Studies programs, our projects, our wonderful teaching team and your fantastic students. So what is Integrated Studies? Well, in short, Integrated Studies is the title that we've given to the way we teach English, History and Geography in Year 7 and Year 8. But it involves so much more than just throwing a few key learning areas together and calling it job done. Rather, Integrated Studies is a program that seeks to incorporate effective teaching strategies, engaging and authentic projects, subject-specific content and skills, and real-world problems for students to engage with. But why do Integrated Studies? Well, Integrated Studies allows us to create authentic links between the content in the separate key learning areas. So integrated studies involves bringing together typically disconnected subjects in a style that is derivative of project-based learning so that students can arrive at more meaningful and authentic understanding of all the subjects that we teach. An example that may be helpful to illustrate this in action is that a Year 7 student traditionally could be learning about persuasive writing in English and water in the world and geography in complete isolation from one another. They'd have a completely isolated assessment task and whilst the student may make some informal connections between the skills in one of the subjects and use them in the other, this is neither highlighted by the teacher or demonstrated. We instead combine the two key learning areas intentionally and create a project where they must learn and use the same skills of persuasion, geography, and the same knowledge of water in the world to complete a project that encapsulates them all. The project may entail the student researching and evaluating a non-government organization or a water charity, and then creating a persuasive presentation for why people should support the work that they do or the issues they are facing. Last year, we engaged with a representative from Hunter Water to help build authenticity into this task. So integrated studies doesn't mean just mixing a smidgen of art or music to liven up an English or a history lesson. It's about creating meaningful experiences for our students as they proceed through stage four. Veronica Mansilla from Harvard, Harvard University's Project Zero said this, students build and demonstrate interdisciplinary understanding when they can bring together concepts, methods, or languages from two or more disciplines or established areas of expertise to explain a phenomenon, solve a problem, create a product, or raise a new question in ways that would have been unlikely through single disciplinary means. From the economics of environmental disasters to the ethics of cloning, cross-cutting issues are all around us. Applying an integrated studies approach to learning not only prepares students for tackling these real world challenges, but also yields immediate benefits ranging from greater student engagement, very important in middle school, and deeper understanding of core content. But we don't just focus solely on projects in integrated studies. We also have a firm belief in the importance of using explicit direct instruction when teaching some of the skills our students need to use to engage in these projects. This means that our students are still taught all the content, techniques and skills the same as if they were taught in English, history and geography separately. One of the ways that we explicitly focus on skills in integrated studies is using a product called Writer's Toolbox. It's a product that allows us to focus explicitly on writing skills and techniques and is something that students can use in the classroom and at home to further develop their writing prowess. Generally, students will complete one major assessment each term that will assess outcomes in English and either geography or history. They'll also complete formative assessments known as benchmarks in class throughout the term to ensure that they are attaining the skills necessary to complete their final project. At its heart, the aim of integrated studies is to meet the young people of middle school where they are at, provide an engaging, challenging and supportive environment for them to learn, develop and grow the skills and knowledge that will help them to succeed in life. The teachers will engage in teaching strategies that are based in research and design projects that will create authentic experiences for our young people. Students will learn syllabus content and skills and be challenged to take initiative and responsibility to build their confidence, to solve problems, work in teams, communicate ideas and manage themselves more effectively. I really look forward to going on the journey of integrated studies for your students this year.